ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another one-hit kill review. This time we're gonna do Banished, a city builder of sorts. Um, yeah, so without further ado, I'm not gonna give this game a, too much of an introduction. You'll see what it is. Um, starting conditions. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, because I'm a bitch. This game scares me. Anyway, the goal of the game is to, uh... Survive, really. Make sure your city doesn't get wiped out. Which is an admirable goal. Anyway, we're gonna give it an hour to... do its thing. Uh-oh. Okay, that does pause. I've quite forgotten how to play this. Uh, I played it when it first came out, uh, about a year ago. And I have not played since. So, I'm gonna remember how this goes. Uh, we need roads. and see what happens. I suppose we've planned. Planned some stuff out. So people are grabbing supplies and getting to work. We are going to need more stone. Iron. Grab some wood and cease being cold. So do we have. I don't remember if we have direct control. Oh, we do, I think. No, we do not. Okay, we do not have direct control over each person. Reserve firewood is low. Good thing we're clearing out some forest then, huh? I guess we need a logging camp. Just to chop logs into the fire. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get one of those too, because medicine. So I should probably wait and do one at a time, yeah. Ah, here we go, the F, F keys, right? No. That just highlights stuff. Just kind of pressing keys, hoping something pops up. There's camera controls, okay, so you can use WAS and D to manipulate the camera. Rotate it around. Just trying to get a handle on this stuff. God. Now everything's just a little off kilter and I'm not gonna be able to get it perfectly straight again. Ugh, and it's gonna bother me. It's gonna bother me so much. Thanks a lot, Gianna Bell. Look, everyone around you is working really hard. What are you doing? Idling. Or Corden is playing. Nope, Corden is idling. Also worthless job. Child, what? Corn! Yay! Work. Number of citizens working at this location. Okay, right. Um, okay. Work is disabled. Why is work disabled? citizens are available. We'll make them available. Ah, here's our tools. Okay, cool. General statistics. Sign jobs. Yeah, okay, so we need farmers. One, two, three, four. And builders. Two builders. Alright, now we're cooking with gas. Okay. 
Now we're good. Now we've got all the information we need. I'm gonna actually put this in the bottom corner there. Yeah, that that's good. All the information we could ever want. Alright, we've got our farmers planting things. Planting corn. Hey, Solonel has become an adult. About time, that lazy twat. So, I think all we do now is just kind of speed shit up a bit. So, given out all the orders. They just need to, to execute those orders. about 15 minutes in now, and uh, I think that's enough to start giving some first impressions of, of what's going on here. I'm going 
really need more roads. Are those chickens? Ooh, can I start raising chickens? Foresters. Um, damn, I keep closing that, um, job thing. Let's just go with one forester. Okay. This guy, 10 years old, and he's a... 10 years old, and he's a frickin' homeowner. He has no idea how good he has it. Okay, so we're also gonna need some roads, right? Some more, more roads. Go, no dirt road. This is a good harvest, I guess. to start growing up so they can work. Lazy bastards. Speed this shit up some more. Work harder, my minions. Yes, toil all of your days. Okay, so we got some weather effects going on. Mushrooms, roots, potatoes, our gatherer's hut is actually putting out food. Awesome. Hey, he's 11 years old now. Yay. It's summertime. Yay. Number of adults, students, and children. Okay, so we've got 13 adults. 16 kids just mooching off the system. Literally doing nothing except eating food. Reserve of food is low again. Mushrooms, onions, berries? Look at this. Look at this. I'm providing so much food for you people. Three children were born? Aw, oh, dude. I missed that, that bit. Pasture.
size. Wow, mine is almost finished. Incredible. Well done. Look at all of that corn. I think we'll be alright. We have no food. There's none food left. Except we're about to harvest this shit. And it's gonna be awesome! We're gonna have so much food. No, 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 stop. Stop birthing children. 13 and 17. No. Stop it. The last thing we need is more freeloaders. Okay, so we can have up to 15 miners. Wow. I suppose we should assign at least one. Okay, so let's take away one farmer and make him a miner. Just so we have at least one person at each thing. Gotta have at least one. Sick, they're harvesting. Oh yeah, look at all that corn. Brilliant. Brilliant. I think we'll be alright. Winter is coming. It is early autumn. Winter is coming. Indeed. Okay. I think, uh... I think another house might be in order soon. Storage for logs, stone, and iron is in capacity. Oh wow, that, okay, so that can only hold so much. Cool, um... Stockpile. Make more stockpiles. Here. Perfect. Hundred percent full. Shit. Mostly a firewood. That's good. Cemetery is coming. Oh yeah, look at all that corn. Yes, I know, I know. What's going on with these apple trees, guys? But I, I told him to make the stockpiles. Here, can, can't I, uh, pause? Pause. Um. I think I remember seeing a button for, like, increase priority. Oh no, the snows! The snows have arrived. What is that basket? Let's 
So we see the seasons, but these kids are growing at like a year for every two seasons that passes. It's kind of strange. Oh, you know what? We don't... It's winter. We don't need these people being farmers. Hold on. Farmers. No, we don't need... We don't need a ton of farmers. Capacity, okay. So, what kind of eat? Can we take a break? Go on vacation? No. What you want to do? Help out the others. Build stuff. You know, carry some shit. Dustine the Miner was killed by a cave-in. Solanel has replaced Dustine as a miner. Shit. Well, how much, um... How much iron are we getting? Okay, not a ton. Enough. Those are melting. Awesome. Now we can assign some more farmers to work the fields. Alright, our quarry is finished, so let's get one stone cutter in there. Yeah, because we don't have a ton of stuff.
build another house. Or two. Because all these kids, when they grow up, are going to need somewhere to go. Something to... Something to do. Hey, we just got another adult. Outstanding. Alright, so we're a little over halfway through our uh, our review here. Uh, of course, we're giving it an hour. And uh, I, I want to start talking about some of the things I've noticed. So, the systems are very in-depth. Um, I feel very realistic as well. Um, I like the time control mechanics a lot, being able to pause, speed up, slow down, uh, as needed. It's very, very helpful. Uh, now, I have played this game before, uh, so I kinda know what's going on. Um, obviously I had to reteach myself a few things. But, I mean, the, the seasons, uh, actually do matter. Uh, you have... You know, obviously in winter it gets cold, you can have people die of, you know, freezing to death. Um, you want to harvest it, you know, during the right season. Um, I've had uh, crops before where it'll get to 100% yield, but because I planted too early, um, it'll actually start to rot and go down unless, I, unless you force a manual harvest. Uh, which is really neat. Okay, our pasture is done. Let's, uh... What job is that? Herdsman. Okay. Chickens. Go. Excellent. See? And it's because we had the, the chickens nearby here. They were already roaming around. Now we just need to wrangle them and throw them in the pen. Force them to have sex repeatedly. Oh yeah, look at all these kids that just came of age. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we have seven laborers now. Awesome. Um, let's make more... What do we need? What do we need the most of? Um, okay, we don't need any builders right now. We can step up foresting, gathering, definitely mining, and stone cutting. Oh, we need an herbalist. I never did that. I never built the herbalist. It's hospital. Where is... Here we go, herbalist. Can we put the herbalist over here? You know, kind of keep the, the economic sectors away from, like, the housing sector. Almost zone things. <laughs> we'll kind of start building out this way towards the river. Because I do want to set up some fisheries as well. Oh, kids were born. Oh, that's gross. A 12-year-old and a 10-year-old. Here's 12 and 11. Wow. Well, I guess if they're old enough to work, they're old enough to... Yeah. We're done here. Ah, uh, no, 
we got some more people working in the mines. Stone. Iron. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so we can also start building more houses, I think. And we'll also... Yeah, no, let's just build houses right along this road. It already exists. We don't need to build more road. Alright, wooden house. I like how every house is a little different, too. I mean, that's a neat touch. It's not just like 18 copies of the same house. Couple builders. Are they harvesting? Oh, they are. Brilliant. I was like, why is this going down? Why is my yield going down? Uh, because it's already harvest season. I mean, that was, that was fast. I suppose we can spare one guy to be a woodcutter again. Putting out fires, ah oh, shit. Should probably build that. Uh reserve of food is low? How is food low? Oh my god. Probably because I've got too many people. Okay, tailor to make clothes, blacksmith to make tools. What is this herbalist for medicine? Okay, um shit. Alright, so let's let's pause real quick and plan some shit out. to waste time and energy on a tavern just yet. Um, I'd also like to extend... So we can put some more houses back there uh, when the time comes. This, uh, what is that icon? I don't understand. Farmer. What? The citizen's tool is broken! Shit, okay. Oh, shit snacks. Okay, so, uh, pause. Again. Uh, increase priority. The game definitely gives you all the tools to be successful.
Okay, need someone to work as an herbalist so that we can uh, not have a bunch of sick people. Now, I think I may have made a mistake here in that I uh, may have expanded too quickly. Oh, we harvested already, so we don't need um, as many farmers. Uh, not until spring. Um, so let's put them on gathering, foresting, herbalizing. Okay, unpause. Actually, let's take one of those herbalists, put them in the quarry. We'll probably get cancer of some kind. Sorry, that's the, the mine, the coal mine. The coal mine is where they'll get lung cancer. Child named Esterford. That is the stupidest name of I. Fourteen-year-old and a twelve-year-old just had a child, ladies and gentlemen. This is the most fucked-up thing in Banished. Kids having kids. Little kids having little kids. It's really, really weird. Lillian has become an adult. Excellent. All right, winter is here. The snows have arrived. Um. Yeah, we don't need you cutting any more wood. That's quite all right. I mean, reserve of food is low. Fine low. Oh god. 223 total food. We're not gonna make it through the winter. Shit. Wait, what the? What are you doing? What are you doing? Nothing. You're not doing anything. Job gatherer. Oh, no, okay, you are you're doing your job. It's about to get mad. Okay, so now we need a blacksmith. We will need a tailor very soon, so we'll just go ahead and... Well, maybe we will. A child named Cristobal was born. Congratulations on being born, Cristobal. Cristobal. Kids. A tornado is touched down. What? Where's. No. St stop. Pause the game. Where's the tornado? Okay. There's the tornado. Stay right there. Stay right there, homie. Oh. Fuck. Got to pull all the miners and all the stone cutters out of there. Look at all these people dying.
plus side, there's not as many people to eat food. Tornado's gone. Alright, how many people did we lose just now? We have seven people left. Three of them are children. Look at all of the people that just died in that tornado. Okay. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dude. Okay. Way too many. Way too many people just died in that tornado. We have like no one left. We have a gatherer with. Oh my god. It just. 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 It just destroyed my buildings. We have to rebuild. Oh man. Okay, forest forester, herbalist. Blacksmith. Okay, we've got four people to work with. We need two of them to be farmers, one to be a builder, one is a laborer. I think that's the way to go. I hope this works. Yeah, so natural disasters. Um, literally just raped my village. I, I think we were up to like 30 or 40 in population, and it took us down to 7. Yeah, obviously a very uh, slow-paced game. Fun though. Definitely enjoying my my time. All right. Rebuilt gatherers hut. Unfortunately, we don't have anyone available to actually work in it.
Oh, most of my houses are empty. Wait a second. That better not be your child. It probably is. Means she would have had him when she was 12 years old. Is now a single mom. Well, this guy named Rose. Single dad. Do it. Do it up, man. Definitely need more workers. Can't make do with just four people. I definitely like the system of, like, assigning people jobs and then they just kind of do their job. I don't know if I would like it if I had direct control over each one. Each little sim, I guess. Uh, that's an early snow. Oh no, that f fucked up my corn harvest! And killed off the apple trees! Shit. Okay, so early snows, uh, just fucked me. Fucked me real bad. Oh, I didn't mean to close that. Keep doing that. Coming up on the end of our hour here, deliver some final thoughts on Banished, the city building survival game, uh, where you can see you can be doing everything right and just get wiped out by a tornado at any time. The game just really doesn't give a shit about your happiness. Uh, it will shit on you at every possible opportunity. I've had towns that died, like, you know, one person got a disease, and the disease just spread and wiped out the whole town. That was fun. Um, I had one where I expanded too fast, and everyone just starved to death, because uh, I had more people than I had infrastructure to support them. And also vice versa, I've had, you know, more infrastructure than I've had people to work it. Uh, for instance, right now, you know, I, most of this is like a ghost town. But, I mean, they, they've got all kinds of cool stuff in here that you can build, too. I mean, uh, obviously the well, uh, schoolhouse, you can educate citizens, uh, hospital, I think you have a, a church, yep. And then, uh, attached to the church, a graveyard. Um, so this actually, like, the graveyard, yeah, it's, it prevents citizens from becoming sad when their elders die. I and mean, that's kind of self-explanatory. It helps keep happiness up. Which is your stars here. This is health. But yeah, I mean, it, at any time, like, 
you, you just saw an early snow can totally screw over your harvest. Um, and you, and you end up, you know, sucking for the winter. Now, luckily there's only... Ah, uh, a kid was born. Luckily there's only eight people in my town. gonna have to go work as a farmer. No way around it. Food is the most important. But yeah, I mean, uh, accurate representation of kids as freeloading POSs. <laughs> um, obviously some, some fucked up things happening here with, uh, like, tweens moving in together and having kids of their own, you know, at like 12 years old, kind of messed up, but hey, I mean, if, if you were a frontier civilization, like, you're, you know, a tornado could literally wipe you out at any moment, or, you know, a, a disease could be the end of the entire civilization, when you're that kind of settlement, uh, I suppose breeding is very important. So, uh, I mean, you do want to start them young, get as many kids out of them as you can, because everyone counts. <clears throat> They're not all winners, but uh, the more of them you have, the better chance of getting a winner you have. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I mean, there, there's a lot going on here in this simulation. Um, a lot to keep track of. Definitely kind of like a dad game, I'd say. Uh, you know, a lot of number crunching, uh, a lot of the game kind of playing itself, uh, while you make a YouTube video and talk about it. Uh, I mean, I, I did very little, uh, throughout this. You know, I, I place something, I mean, the, the actual gameplay boils down to placing buildings and adjusting the profession of your, your people to be what you feel to be the most uh, efficient use of that space and of your resources, uh, to include your human resource as well. But yeah, I mean, uh, they, they give you a lot of different options, they give you a lot of different tools, I mean, the different ways you can get food. I mean, get the, the, we didn't do this, but the, the hunting lodge is pretty cool, and we never got to the river to do the fishing dock. But, uh, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So, we could set up a fishing dock, like, right there. Uh, it's way too far away, though. So, we're not gonna do that. Anyway, that's, uh, that's our hour up. So, uh, is it any good? I think it's compelling enough uh, for a city builder to warrant more than one hour. Now, that comes with a big caveat. I'm not huge into this type of game. I don't play a lot of city builders. Uh, so, I don't know what classifies a good one. Uh, if that makes sense. Um, I'm not sure what makes... Sorry, I'm still playing the game. Uh, I'm not sure what makes a good city builder a good city builder. Uh, so I, I don't have anything to compare this to, but as far as I'm concerned, this is well worth just about anybody's time. So, I mean, is it any good? Yeah, I, I'd say so. I would definitely spend more than the one hour on it, and uh, I'd probably enjoy it. Definitely, it, the game does not hold your hand, though. I mean, it throws you into the shit. You saw that tornado come through and just wipe everyone out. 
And remember, I'm I'm on easy. This is easy difficulty. And like everyone's tools are broken. They're they're doing all this with their bare hands pretty much. They're cold, they're starving. I mean, it's kids are mating. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's not a good situation, and I'm on easy. I mean, I can only imagine what this game would be like if you were playing on the hardest difficulty. I, I can't, I can't even. I'd probably just want to shoot myself, uh, after, after a certain amount of time. But yeah, anyway, this has been Banished. Uh, I'm firing. this is a one-hit kill review, and I will see you next time.